Hey my loves and welcome to today's video. Today I am doing a, it's just going to be a quick one but it's going to be my top 5 favourite TV shows at the moment. Um, I really like watching these videos, it gives me some really cool ideas of stuff to watch and yeah so, well not 5, there's actually a few more than that but we're going to jump straight in and the first one that I want to mention is something that I've actually watched most of before we're just re-watching it again and that is Pretty Little Liars um, which is fabulous if you don't know it's a Netflix series and um, I'm not going to explain because I don't want to give it away but it's really really good I would check it out it's the sort of thing that appeals to me I've noticed in books and TV shows I very much like um, the sort of discovering secrets and you know, subterfuge and all the naughtiness going on. So I would highly, highly recommend it. And um, I will list all of these down below for you guys to check out. And yeah, so um, the next one as well is not so much an actual show. It's the narrator. And it is anything that is narrated by David Attenborough. I absolutely love him. I think he is the best thing to ever happen to the BBC. And I adore everything, Planet Earth, Planet Earth 2, Life, um, all of them that he did. And they're absolutely fantastic. I would highly, highly recommend. Number three on my list is actually an American show, again, and it is um, Criminal Minds. And if you don't know, this follows a group of FBI criminal profilers. Um, I think the reason why I love this so much is the it's my career goal. So I adore, like, watching and learning, and it's all very... Um, it's that sort. It's a, again. It's that sort of serial killers and looking into the mind of serial killers. So it's a very, very popular sort of premise that's about now. Um, and I think Criminal Minds has been going since about 2005. They now have 12 seasons, I believe. So yeah, it's really, really, really good. And my favourite character is Doctor Reed. Number four on the list is again another crime show, and this one is called Bones, um, and it fol follows an anthro uh, forensic anthropologist who, if you don't know, is somebody who studies human remains, and she uses them to solve crimes with her partner slash husband, Celie Booth, and yeah, it's really, really, really good. It's very intense, so just a warning, and there is a lot of grossness. Um, so if you're squeamish, I probably wouldn't recommend it. There is a lot of disgusting things in it. Um, liquefied bodies and all sorts of other nasty things going on, but it's fantastic. Um, number five on the list is a, another Netflix show called Sh um, the S Something of Shannara. I cannot quite remember it. But it's actually a series based on a set of books by an author that I've read before and um, called Terry Brooks, which he is absolutely fantastic. It is a fantasy show. It's, um, it is sort of high fantasy, so there's elves and magic and there's a lot of that stuff going on. So it's something that you're interested in. I would highly recommend giving it a go. I think they now have two seasons on Netflix, so would highly recommend. And finally, the last show that I want to mention is one that I have watched through so many times, and that is House, House MD, which um, has Hugh Laurie as a doctor, and he sort of solves medical mysteries, if you like. So it's people who come in with weird symptoms, and he solves them. He's a diagnostician. However, he is not a nice man. Um, he is... A misanthrope he hates human beings as a rule he has no real social life um, and it follows him and his small team solving these crime solving these crimes solving these medical mysteries alongside their interpersonal relationships and his personal relationships with friends and other people in the hospital and also his major addiction to Vicodin which is an opiate so he's a sort of drug addicted doctor, which is quite cool. It's quite a an unusual idea. Um, House has now finished. They are not creating any more series. There are only eight seasons, which is so sad. But yeah, they only created eight seasons and it is now finished. So that is my top current favourite TV shows. Um, 
If you enjoyed it, then please give the video a big thumbs up and press the big red subscribe button to see some more of me. There is new video content here every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. Um, as I said before, I will list all of these TV shows down below. I will also link my other social medias, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat for lots of behind the scenes fun. Um, and I will also link my blog where there is new written content every Wednesday and every Sunday. Thank you very much. Bye bye.